una pera, ¿no? Right, so this in my hand is a pear, right? Hay alguien aquí en la sala que sepa de pieres. Is anybody an expert or specialist in pears here? <laughs> no, no. Es cocina. That, this is cooking. No, se nos llena la boca a los cocineros del producto. Lot de que tenemos, the, tenemos que conocer el producto. A lot of chefs like to go on and on about products and ingredients and, and uh, the emphasis on local products and so on. Lo único que podemos hacer es conocerlo un poquito más que los demás. But basically their task is to try and know and understand and learn a bit more than the average person. Y utilizamos nuestro instinto animal si quiere. And to maybe use the, their animal instinct. Para ver si esta pera es muy, muy, muy buena. To see and understand whether that pear is a really good pear. Porque igual hay más de 3.000 tipos de pera. Because maybe there are about more than three, 300 or 3,000 different pears. ¿Cómo, cómo vamos a hablar de pera? So, how will you know everything there is to know about pears? ¿De dónde es originario la pera? Do you know where pears originally come from? ¿Desde cuántos años hace que se utiliza la pera? Do you know how long we've been using pears? ¿En qué países se utiliza? Do you know how many countries use pears? ¿Alguien se atreve a salir de aquí? Does anybody, does anybody um, have the courage to uh, give us the answer? Yo no, yo, yo no, yo no soy capaz. Peran is not capable of doing that. Yo no sé qué, qué, plato, qué platos con peras hacer en Brasil. He doesn't know what uh, dishes will, are cooked with pears in Brazil, for example. O en Hungría. Or in Hungary. No lo sé. Entonces, el posicionamiento que hay, yo tengo delante de la cocina es, no sé nada. His position and his attitude is that he doesn't know anything. Y procura aprender lo máximo. Try to learn as much as you can. Formarme lo máximo. Learn as much as you can. Dialogar con los expertos. A dialogue and talk to the experts. En este caso, dialogaría con un experto en peras. So he would try and find somebody who's an expert on peras. Bueno, y poquito a poco, pues bueno, pues uno se va formando como quiere. And slowly you learn and you improve your knowledge. Hay muchas maneras de separar los, la cocina, ¿no? De clasificar la cocina. There are many different ways of classifying cuisine. La primera que haríamos seguramente sería la privada, la privada y la pública. The first thing maybe we should make a distinction between public cooking and private cooking. No, pues es la cocina para casa o la cocina que se hace como negocio. Cooking para, eh, at home or cooking as a business. Otra sería por nivel de elaboración. Another division would be uh, the preparation and elaboration required. Sí, una de las críticas que se le hace al bulli y se pilla también a línea. One of the, the criticisms that we use often had and a línea would apply as well. Uy, uy, esto no es cocina, esto no es cocina. People have often criticized saying that Todo that is producto, busy. Todo el producto, el producto, el producto. Because they make a big emphasis on product. Vale. Meaning they don't make ah. a big emphasis on product. Esto está en un árbol. So the, the, the pear comes from a tree. Si lo cogiera del árbol, si me lo comiera aquí, If I had to take a bite from, take the pear from the tree and bite it. Sería la primera, la primera manera de comerla. That would be the first way to eat a pear. En este caso, que sería un producto natural que me estoy comiendo. In this case, it would be a totally natural product that he's eating. Porque está en la naturaleza así. Because this is how it is in nature. A ver, aquí no hay manipulación humana. There's no human manipulation involved. Sin embargo, si cogemos But if I take a knife y lo, y lo cortamos, and I cut a piece y, y lo pegamos, and I peel, I take the skin off. Ya empezamos a elaborar. So we have already started elaborating, preparing. Okay. So I have a piece of pear that has already been elaborated. So I have pieces of pear, que más o menos vemos como una pera. and I can more or less tell that it is a pear that it resembles a pear. Más o menos. More or less. Okay? Depende del vino que, que, que hayamos bebido en la comida. Depends on how much wine you've had it. No, sí, sí. Eh. A la hora del postre, cuando llevas el postre, ¿esto qué es? When you've gotten to your dessert, by that point, you might be asking yourself what you have on your plate. Y con esto podríamos hacer una tarta, una ensalada. These pieces, you can make a, a, a tart, 
salad, um, many different kinds of dishes. Muy, muy, muy fino. So now I cut the pear up very finely. No. Uy. Okay. So I end up with very small pieces of pear. Aquí ya, como le ponga un poco de canela, nos gustaría saber si es pera, manzana o guayaba. So if I add some cinnamon onto that, you would have some real confusion identifying what it is. Whether it's, a, it's an apple, whether it's a guava, what, it, what, it, what is it? Pero bueno, más o menos veíamos que es pera. But more or less, more or less you could tell it's a pear. O podríamos coger la pera y hacer un puré. So the next option would be to take the pear and convert it into a puree. Y con este puré podríamos hacer una salsa. With this puree you could make a sauce. Un sorbete. A sorbet. ¿No? Diferentes, diferentes elaboraciones. Different elaborations, preparations. Aquí ya no veíamos la pera. The, the, by this point you won't be able to identify the pear. De, de esta pera a un sorbete de pera. From the pear to the sorbet. Ahí. Una gran distancia. There's a long distance. Y esto pasa en todos los tipos de cocina. And this is something you'll find in all kinds of uh, cooking. A la cocina del bulli de Alinea o de la cocina de mi abuela. At the bulli at Alinea or even his grandmother's cooking. Y esto hay una gran equivocación sobre que la cocina elaborada, muy elaborada, solo lo hacen bastante como el bulli o Alinea. And there is a big misconception that this kind of cuisine is only carried out by um, restaurants like the bulli o Alinea. <coughs> Si vamos a otro producto, If you take another product, como una vaca, for example, a cow, nadie se come vaca entera. You don't eat the whole cow. No. Recogería un trozo. So you would take a piece of it. Y podría hacer un carpacho. You could make a carpacho. O un 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 entregot. A tibon steak. Un estofado. A stew. Más o menos veíamos la carne. More or less, you could identify that it's meat. O podríamos hacer unos ravioles rellenos de carne. Or you could make some ravioli stuffed with meat. Y aquí la carne ya costaría más o menos. By this point, it would be very hard to identify the meat. Si hacemos un consomé, hacemos magia. So if you make a consomé, you're actually doing magic. No está bien. Because there's no meat, you can't see it. Entonces, cuando uno cocina. Pero tiene que tener bastante mal y claro esto. So when you're cooking, you have to have these ideas very clearly set out in your mind. Porque si no uno oye, uy, que he ido al al bulli y manda un un sorbete de espárrago. Esto es una vergüenza. So you might hear people saying things like, oh, you know, it's the bulli and I was given a asparagus sorbet. This is disgraceful. Con lo bueno que son los espárragos, con lo bueno que son los espárragos enteros. Asparagus, natural asparagus, whole asparagus are the best. Y después va por la noche a comer a un restaurante y se come un sorbete de fresas. And then he goes to another restaurant the next night and eats a strawberry sorbet. Qué bueno, qué bonito. Ah, he thinks it's wonderful. Hey, así. There's hundreds of these kinds of things. No, no. Entonces, si uno tiene claro esto, mano. Puede empezar a un poco a ser objetivo con las cosas. So if you have these facts clearly laid out, you will be you will be able to be objective. Vale, vamos a hablar un poquito de creatividad. So let's talk a little about creativity. Vale. Durante la historia, throughout history, ha habido gente que ha creado platos. There have been people who were able to create dishes. Pues claro, los platos no han venido de, de Marte. Because these dishes didn't come out. Didn't land from Mars. They were created at the time. Se crearon, se crearon recetarios. And people made up recipe books. Y durante muchos años la cocina es reproducir. And so for many years, cuisine and cooking is about reproduction. Ahora no se puede producir a recipe. No se puede porque el siglo pasado es un año donde era era muy difícil hacer algo que no fuera reproducir. So. For some reason, we don't quite know why. Last century, the last century, it was more about reproducing recipes. No, es decir, era coger, coger, coger un libro, la hace y lo crea. Most people generally took a recipe from a book and. Bueno, hay una serie de gente que piensa 
un poco y mira a ver si puede cambiar, mejorar o hacer otra versión de cosas ya conocidas. But then there's a series of people who think and observe and they try to see if they can make some changes to what is already known. No, voy a coger una, una pasta con tomate y ponerle en vez de albahaca, por menta. Right, but for example, they might say, uh, take a pasta with a tomato sauce and instead of putting basil, vale. add a mint. Es un pequeño detallito. It's a small detail. Pero gente que piensa ahí. But it's people who are thinking. Y que puede hacer cosas. And they think they can do something to, to make it better to change it. Vale, le da un pe una pequeña evolución. So there is a small evolution in this. Y después habría otra versión ya que es la combinación de productos. Then there's another evolution, which would be the combination of ingredients or products. Pues cre crear. That is already creating. No, es decir, con la pera. You take the pear. Podemos hacer mil platos. And you can actually make up to a thousand different dishes. En un día, ¿eh? In just one day. Vamos al supermercado. You go to a supermarket. No, cogemos la pera y cogemos, venga, las verduras. Va cogiendo la pera y con todas las verduras, pera y alcachofa. So you take the pear oh. and you take all the vegetables available and start making different combinations. Pear with asparagus. Pear with asparagus. Pear and artichokes. Lo que with whatever you want. Uno bien y otro mal. Some will end up tasting really good and some won't be so interesting. Y así se han hecho and that's how a lot of dishes uh, were originated. Have visto la famosa ratatouille, no? You've all seen ratatouille, <laughs> sure. <¿no? laughs> Sí, por la ratatouille se hizo así, seguramente, pero claro, no, en el, en el, no había tomate en Europa. Ratatouille was actually probably made like that, because tomatoes didn't exist in Europa. Ni pimiento. No, no did we have peppers. Yo había pensado, digo, mira, a la, a la calabacina y la cebolla le irá bien el tomate y el pimiento. So somebody must have thought, hey, um, take a courgette and uh, you can add some peppers and then you can have some tomatoes. Y la gente que piensa, ¿no? Que tomate que no existe en Europa. Y la gente que piensa, ¿no? Que tomate que no existe en Europa. Y la gente que piensa, ¿no? Que tomate que no existe en Europa. Y la gente que piensa, ¿no? A lot of recipes have originated that way.